Hello everyone, my name is Psycro and this is Stoneopolis episode 15. I forgot to mention how I got the, the obsidian. So I actually made a stonework, uh, stone, material stonework factory. So I have a lavatron that creates lava. They're going to be pushed in here and uh, for each uh, uh, bucket of lava it generates one uh, uh, obsidian. So that, this is how I get my obsidian. So we now have the the netherite ingot and we can use that to uh, create wither skeletons uh, because we have to use these with the netherite bone with netherite ingot and bone to get um, uh, the, the what do you call it the wither skeleton skull which we're going to use for star power section but before i want to do that i what actually want to uh, put enchanting on my sword and uh, for that I need leather and uh, for books. So I think I'm gonna repurpose this right now to be a, a farm where we kill cows and other animals. Uh, so I want to repurpose uh, this farm to create leather or so enchantment tool. So right now we have plenty of uh, pink slime. So I'm gonna turn this off and now I'm gonna make uh, what we call a mob crusher. So there, yes, I already made a advanced machine frame they are pretty and uh, tiresome to make, but uh, I made it. LV connector and wire. So we're gonna add this over here, and then I'm gonna change all these pigs out with cows. <laughs> so let me place this one right here, uh, right here. Oh, that's not the one. Okay, there. mistakes were made. <laughs> so let's get some stone. And let's take a pickaxe. I'm gonna put pick you up again. And now we're gonna try again. Okay, so we can use our axe on this one. Yes, take the stone, place it right here, place them, place a the mob crusher right there. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna add a connector to it there. And uh, we're gonna power it this way. And can I I don't think I get up get it can get up there. Lock, lock the other some stone. There we go. And uh, the working area is one block. So let's see, do I have a range add-on? No, I don't. Well, let me make a range add-on. Let me call all these picks and uh, I will make sure there's cow instead. So can I get this pick to go in there in front of this one? If I do this, yeah, we got bear. Yeah, it's killing all the pigs. Perfect. So I'm gonna just gonna really let this run to get some uh, some bacon. I will create a range of grades to call the whole base here, and uh, then I will call all these pigs and uh, create some cows instead. So let me do that. I will be right back, and then we can build our enchanting table and get some enchantments for my sword. Yes. As we can see, the cows are moving and we have a lot of leather, uh, which I've been sent into this chest and down into a hopper, into a, an a access interface. And we now have a lot of meat and we have a lot of leather and I've already made a lot of books. So I made a little uh, enchanting area over here. As you can see, we now have 15 bookshelves. So if I take a book oh, and some lapis, let me quickly grab that. go we can enchant books so da, 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 da. go over here let's see what we're gonna get we're gonna get depth strider power or knockback hmm not very good we need something else if we for instance take a sword uh, let's see a sword a diamond sword there you go and we try to enchant chant that we could get some uh, more enchantments based on the levels we have. But we then need a way to extract that specific enchantments out of. Let's see, we got unbreakings, we got a beta autopods for an unbreaking, but we need something to extract uh, the enchantments and put it on our uh, vitality blade. Because if we put the vitality blade in here, we can't enchant it, but we can put books on it and enchant it on the, on the anvil. So 
we need a machine to extract the enchantments out of the, the source we enchant. So we have a enchantment extractor. There it is. And I best cooking style, <laughs> uh, kitchen style, I prepared everything. So let's get some LV relays, wire and connector. So if we add this one, let's just add it right here. So we're gonna add a wire there and we need to get up there. So we need some stone. Stone. And the re there's a reason why I want to enchant my sword because moving forward in the quest line, we need to uh, spawn in a lot of wither skeletons. And to be able to get bones, we need to spawn in a lot of skeletons. Uh, and we will get netherite drops with the skeleton skulls. Uh, so I want to have the best uh, possible chance to get a lot of enchantments, sorry, looting. So let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna right click with the wires right here. There. Let's go up. Add the relay there. And if I do this, it should not interfere. It does. Oh. There. Oh, I have to go up the other way. So let's try again. There. And we go up this way. Oh. And right click there. Yes. And can we reach it? Yes, we can. Perfect. Oh. So if I take this one and put it in a book here, let's see. Enchantment for items we will transfer into books, yes, because we can also transfer it into uh, essence, but we need books. So if I take this sword here, we will now extract the unbreaking part and also the bane of Pathogrid, I can pronounce it. And we had another sword with looting on it. So I want the looting and sharpness because I want that to add this to my, my vitality blade. I also upgrade my vitality blade, so if I shift right click now, I have uh, 10 hard canisters and also my uh, hard amulets. I'm gonna lose some health, but I now have four of these yellow hard containers. And the way I got the yellow uh, heart is I can take an, uh, another uh, another normal heart, like red one, and uh, use this melting yellow heart. And the way I got the melting yellow heart is I took a green one, uh, because I have uh, some of those, smelted it, and then I can uh, convert uh, one green metal heart into nine. That's how I made these uh, these hard cancers. So I have now a lot of health. <laughs> now we got the looting and we got the sharpness free. So let's add it to our sword. Sharpness, yes. And looting. So I also would like to have swipe so we can add multiple targets at once. But uh, now we have a normal. Oh, I don't have a. Well, that's smite one. That's not one, one smite free. So I need some more experience. So I need a way to get more experience, but I can do that by killing mobs. So now we have looting. I just need a uh, just need smite. So let me set up a system to create. Uh, let's see here. These uh, wither bones. We need bones. I have uh, like thirty of them, but we have net lots of netherite. So we, if we use the bones on the summoning block, no, that bone meal actually. Uh, with life essence under it, we get skeletons, and this one also life essence, so we could get with the skeleton. Let me set up a system downstairs because I already have a system downstairs, I think. Yes, over here. So this is a uh, this is for lava for generating blaze rods. I will create a similar system here for all the skeletons and with the skeletons. So yeah, be right back. Now I know this will work with the, the skeletons, as you can see here. We can only kill one at a time, and that's why I want, why, why I want smite. So we got 17 bones, but for spawning uh, with a skill skull, I don't know. Oh, it, it's not free high. Perfect. So we got the nether skull fragment, and this we can use to create the with a skeleton skull. So let me grind up a bunch of these, like this. Kill, 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 kill. We also actually also get bones from these, so we don't have to. Uh, and we also get some XP. Yeah, let me kill a lot of these, and once I have 30 levels, I will see if I can get a smite on a sword, and I'll be right back. I finally got it. Sweeping Edge free, and not smite. It's Sweeping Edge I need. 
there. And you also get a really free perfect. Let's extract those. Breaking and sweeping edge. Go over here and add sweeping edge to this sword here because now we can kill almost everything in one go. I just need to remember to put this back. And let's say, so uh, now that I have looting free on my sword, you can see my leather supply have gone up quite a bit. So let's take just 16 and go downstairs because uh, the looting part is gonna, yeah, it's gonna add, uh, increase over time. So I have 16 now, let's spawn 16 cows. And now to be able to, yeah, kill them all in one go. And you see, I got 36 back. I can spawn in. I kill everything in one go. That's very nice. All dead, one go. <laughs> so let's continue on our quest. So I don't, I don't think I need this farm anymore, uh, for cow at least, but I will just leave it, keep it running, just to be on the safe side. So in you go. So let's look at the quest. So we've got the Wither Skull Fragment and we're going to Wither Skull. We're just missing a smithing template. Yeah, smith, smithing template. There we go. Boop. And uh, I think we could create a smithing tape as well. Uh, if we want to create some uh, netherite armor, for instance. So we completed this one here. Perfect. So star power. Drop for killing the wither. Okay. Do we have any wither proof glass? No. Not really. Hmm. Yeah. Let me see what I can do about that, or if there's anything in the quest book about that, or if we need to kill. Uh, sorry, we have to use the. Oh, we can use the crusher actually, but still, it's gonna, gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna destroy anything. Let me see if I can find some uh, some glass resist blast. Let's see a blast, blast resistant glass. We need a blast pick, blast furnace. Let's go with glass. Do we have anything that is weatherproof? No, not really. Insulated glass, no, that's coarse glass. Let's see if, if I oh if I do this. Let's see glass here. So this one here. Is it G? Okay. Uh, that was not much. So let's see if there's anything in here. Glass, 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 glass. Uh, where is glass? Where is it? We're looking for glass. Coarse glass. No. It's just, yeah, doesn't say anything about that. Let me see what I can do, but um, if not, I'm gonna try to do something with obsidian and see what happens. So yeah, be right back, I'm gonna build, build a weather killing chamber. <laughs> okay, let's do a backup, just to be on the safe side if this goes wrong. <laughs> but um, let's see what happens. Oh, let's get out. And let's hope it's staying there and not break free. It's gonna be exciting. Don't explode. Yes, perfect. Oh, this goes. Oh, this goes quick. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So it's not proof, but we got our nether star. Whew. There we go. So there's star fragment. It's like this, right? Yeah. And then we can make flood dust, but we do need a lot of there's star fragments. I think I'm going to wait a little bit with this one before we can actually and uh, create a, a more steady stream of, uh, 
uh, with us because this is not good unless I have to make the obsidian block a little bit wider, maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. So let's see what the next step is. So we need to make the Supreme Machines, which, oh, oh, this is the hostile neural networks. I like, I like this item, but it needs the Supreme Machines. So, and the Stasis Chamber, so uh, place it <coughs> for keeping the ward and wither in one place. Okay, maybe we can use the Stasis Chamber to, to kill it. Uh, and uh, what is the soul laser base? Use to extract soul from the warden and warden. Okay. Let's see here, warden. This is the new part of. Hmm. And the soul search. And what do we what do we need it for? Uh, extract souls from the warden. But what what do we? It has a brown machine. What do we need it for? I need to look over this. Uh, over this. Okay. Once we have the supreme machine, we can make the color caves portal. So I think I'm gonna start with this. And also, what's this? The fluid laser base. Yes. For ether gas. Yes. What do we need the ether gas for? So let's look at what we need the ether gas for. We need for the infinite infinite nude. Uh, and uh, this is for what's this? Is that for extended crafting? Hmm. Okay. Oh, by the way, another thing. I just saw that uh, we have a new item available. So let's see. We have the backpack, yeah. So if you get some gold gear, diamond gear, and four common black units, I created for those. Gear, oh, gear, gear, diamond, and gold. Let's create a backpack because I want a backpack. So let's quickly create that over here. I walk very slowly because I don't have any food. But let's create it quickly. Go, go, go. And diamond. And it's not working. Why it's not working? Common. Ah, oh, it needs. Ah, let me fix this. In you go. And now we have it. So. 15 very long seconds. I'm going to, be going to wait. And this backpack seems to be require power. So, uh, and the more power it has, the bigger cheer it gets. So if you look at the in infinity backpack, you see this one can hold 2,048 items. This one 60,000, that requires between 4 million and 60 million RF. And the next one is uh, 60 million between 80 millions. So let's get the backpack. And let's look how big it is. Hmm. Oh, there's a it can require fluid as well. Magnets able, item XP auto enable, and charging enable. Okay, nice. And over here, I actually okay, put it on our, our back. Hey, ah, ah, there's no visualization burger. Oh, let's see here. Let's take it back. Over here, I made this infinity charge, and it's been charging up for some while now, and we are almost up to 16 million. So how fast does this? Oh, it took all the power right away. <laughs> so void refill. Ooh. So when we go mining, oh yeah, that, are we gonna use that for when we go to the the color caves dimension? Nice. But that is gonna be for the next episode. Um, if there are any comments to my playthrough or this episode on the mod pack, just write it down in the comments below and I will answer the question as quickly as I can. Yeah, see you next episode where we're gonna go to the color caves. Bye bye.